Hey everybody, this is Michael from Extreme Diecast Racing. Today we're going to go over all the rapid transit trains that I've been able to collect. And they're really awesome trains. They're made for the track. And here's just an example of how quick they are. So these trains all connect together. You can form one monster train if you really want to. And I've been able to collect all these different trains. There's even a set that we'll look at for a minute called uh, Railroad Rampage. And these aren't to be confused with the original Hot Wheels Railroad, which you can see here. Here's a bunch of different cars. I've got a couple of these sets also. The Hot Wheels made, did a really good job with the railroad and made a bunch of different cars. And we'll have to go over those in the future. Really neat. But today, we'll be talking about the rapid transit trains. And these are fun to play with, full of action. Kind of similar to the Loopsters, how you can connect them together. Um, and these were available for, for quite a while actually, but I'm not sure a lot of people collected them. But I think they missed out. So anyways, we're gonna go over each one of these and we can look at the ones that I've got open, but I've got them all in package. So we'll take a look at them. So first off, we've got the West Coast Flyer. This is a really nice chrome looking uh, train. One of my favorites. Just looks really awesome. Sleek design. And we'll look at the one that's out of its package. So there it is right there. Just a really nice train to have. Okay, next up, we've got uh, Great Scott. This is also a really nice train. Only came in this one color, green. And I do not have one of these ones open, so we'll just look at this one in the package. Next up is the Super Snake. Actually, I'm sorry, this is the Snake Speeder. And racing uh, the trains, this is one of the fastest ones that I've been able to find. So really sleek design, really quick on the track. And if you buy the Railroad Rampage, that's the train that comes in the Railroad Rampage. And this is a really fun set in itself. Basically the trains come down a ramp. You can choose, there's a, a switch, a diverter switch. So we either go through the loop and then break through the gates at the end, or you go over a big jump, is what it says on the package, and then go into this tunnel at the end. So again, these trains are made for loops. They go through them pretty easily, go through jumps pretty easily. So this is a really fun set to get your hands on. It's kind of hard to find nowadays, so. So the next train The next train is this bendy bus. So, it's really not a train, it's a bus, but uh, it's pretty neat. And here it is open. Got some graffiti on the sides of it. This is one of the models that was most available. It wasn't that hard to find. Some of these were extremely hard to find and others were very common. Next one is the turbo trolley. I think this is the only one where the two carts are exactly the same. You can see this one open, and this one was extremely common also. It says rapid transit on the sides. So those ones were, were easy to find. Some harder ones to find is, for instance, this steel bullet, this red, red train. There weren't too many of these available. I was glad to be able to find this one. Really nice design with it also. And, oh, actually have an open version of that. Steel bullet right there. Again, really awesome model. Next one is called the Rail Rocket. It's this blue train, I think this was one of the first ones that I saw in the store. I remember finding it at Toys R Us. 
just blown away when I saw it on the shelf. I love Hot Wheels, always like trains, and so it was kind of the perfect combination, especially where you could hook them all together. I think this one was the first one I saw, plus, uh, plus one that we'll look at in just a minute. And there is an open version of that one too, right here. It says Rapid Transit on the side, number eight. All right, the next one, this one's really neat. Uh, it's called the Turbo Hauler. It really looks like a semi-truck. And it's pretty long also. One of the fastest ones on the tracks. It's got an extra set of wheels. So there's three sets of wheels on the engine, two on the back, so really neat model. I've got one that's uh, open here. Definitely a fun one to pick up and play with. All right, next up, we've got the Diesel Chief. This was one of the first trains that was released. I remember seeing this one in the store. Blown away by it. Just a really nice design. Just looks really fast. Got some rockets on the back of the, the engine there. So, pretty excited to find that one. And here's an open version of that one. Just looks really nice. Great train to have. Okay, now we get into some of my favorites. They're a little bit rare to find. So this one is called Bullet Speeder. It really kind of goes back to some of the Japanese uh, bullet trains. Great design to it. Wish I had another one of these that were was open, but this is the only one I've got, this one in package here. Next up, Another one of my favorites, Cargo Cruiser. It's kind of a freight car, freight, big diesel engine here. Really nice design. I've got to open one of these. There it is, right there. Yeah, again, just a great train to have. Next up, this is one of my top two. This is the Steam Blaster. Just a great design to it. It's got the three axles on the front, the six wheels on the engine. Just a great design. Kind of reminds me of uh, Thunder Mountain at Disneyland. I don't know why exactly, but uh, anyways, it's a great train. And I've got one of those that's open right here. Great design to it. Now this also is probably right on the top of my list. This one was pretty rare. This is Wild Ride. Only saw a few of these in the store. Just a really unique design to it. Uh, got the engine and the cart. They don't exactly have the same colors to them, but they go well together. So great design. Fortunately, I only have this one, so just the one in package to look at. Now this was the very first one I remember seeing in the stores. It's called Steam and Demon. And again, just blown away by how awesome these trains were. Great design too. It's got the really tall pipes in the front. Got a, got a loose version of that. Great design to it. And they came out with a second version. Some of them, they actually have two colors to them. And so there was a blue version that came out, but they actually weren't exactly the same. You can see on the blue version, the pipes on the front are really short, whereas the original version, they're really tall. So there was a variation between these two models. It was more than just color. They actually changed it a bit, variation. So the second car was exactly the same, just paint, just a different color. But those two engines are definitely different, so kind of unique thing with, uh, with Steam and Demon. And the next one, it's this orange one, it's called Rocky Mountain Rail. Really kind of a unique design to it. I don't have this one in an open model, but this one actually came out in a, in a variant. And so there's a Rocky Mountain Rail that's kind of a green color. So I'll pan out so we can see those, orange and green. Tell those ones are really neat. And next up, 
is the Super Streamliner. There's a black version. It's kind of got a, a flat car on the back. You can put a Hot Wheels car on the back and run it around on the track. Cars come off pretty easily usually because the trains are going fast. So I do have one of those open, but I want to show you the variant before we go to the open version. It's this till color. Again, the Super Streamliner. So I'll pull back so we can see both of those at the same time. And I do have one of those that's open. So, so the black version is the one that's open there. And you could stick a Hot Wheels car on the top of it. Um, we'll grab one and throw one on there real quick. But just a really, this is one of the fastest ones on the track also. It's got a really low profile. You can see how that uh, twin mill three sits on there pretty nicely. Pretty secure. But you send it through a loop, the car's probably not gonna stay on there. So again, pretty neat. Then the next up, we've got two versions of Fast Freight. So this is the Tinker. This is actually the one that won our race. If you look up our video, there's a race uh, where we race the Hot Wheels trains. And the Fast Freight is the one that wins out. Fastest model we found. There's two versions of that. And so we'll put them side by side. There's a red version. It says Hot Wheels Oil on the side. And we got this orange version. So you can see those two side by side. Again, one of my favorites. And we do have one of those that's open. So that's this one right here. And then we've got the Super Stoker. This is the orange version of the Super Stoker. It's got a coal car in the back. And they actually came out with two versions of this one. So we've got the green one and the orange one. You can see those side by side there. Pretty deep. And I've got an open one here. Right there. Yeah, just a another really nice one to have and then right at the end of the line they came out with some trains where they had they were mixed trains really and so they had parts of one train and parts of another and I don't know if Hot Wheels produced more of some of the carts so they had to get rid of them at the end so the first one that came out that was a mix is called Turboa and it's got uh, Rail Rocket on the front and Snake Speeder on the back. And you can see it's kind of its own thing. But again, this is one of the last ones released. There's another one that is similar to it's called Diesel Tracks. And you can see it's a mix of two of the different trains. So kind of a unique thing. You can see they kind of planned it because it's matches on the packaging. And then the final one that they released that was a mix is called the Retro Railer. It's got the Steam Blaster on the front and the Great Scott cart on the back. So really unique on that one. You can see the, the graphics on it match up. So yeah, that's the entire set I was able to find. I think I found a picture of one other one from like Eastern Europe that I wasn't able to pick up. Um, and it was really just a color variation one of the trains I'll have to look that back up but uh, anyways I got all the ones that I could find here and pretty nice to have a collection of them I wish I had all of them open so we could race them all but uh, they're so rare now I don't think I'm going to open all the ones that I've got in package anymore probably just keep racing the ones I've got out but pretty neat definitely recommend them to somebody who loves racing Hot Wheels on tracks we're going to make some neat tracks in the future, some uh, just gravity tracks with some uh, really long tracks and we'll, we'll put these trains on them and let you see them run through them. Yeah, one last interesting thing is the local motorins that just came out this year, they've got a hitch on the back. That hitch fits 
with the rapid transit. So, here we've got Thomas and he's pulling a pretty big train. Alright, thanks for watching.